Hey there, I wonder how many superstitious people out there are watching. Now when I say superstitious, I don't mean like 13 this, or black cat that, or don't walk underneath a ladder, or don't open an umbrella inside of a building kind of superstitious. I mean superstitious like if you believe in the supernatural, or omens, or signs, or the supernatural in that regard. I kind of call that superstitious. It's just the way I view things. I don't necessarily think that uh, a lot of people believe in things that are true when it comes to the supernatural or uh, angels and demons and God and all that sort of thing. Now when I talk about God, that's a big word for me. I made a whole other video about that. I'll put it in the description down below on what I believe in as far as God and what I don't believe in as far as God. I kind of side heavily with the agnostic perspective, meaning I have no idea, nor am I going to make up answers for it, and nor do I trust most of the answers out there as far as what God is. The point is though is that I've been experiencing a lot of different coincidences in my everyday life. Now, these coincidences, or these synchronicities, I'll call them, that keep popping up every once in a while, they kind of remind me that there might be something there. It's not just happenstance chance that these certain things keep popping out at me or these certain symbols keep happening wherever I'm going uh, under certain circumstances and when I'm thinking certain things. It's kind of crazy because it's little coincidences that keep me from being a full-blown atheist, believe it or not. And one of these crazy coincidences recently for me is the sightings of praying mantises. I've been seeing more and more praying mantises, more in this past year than I've seen probably in the past four or five years of my life. Probably more than that, actually because I've seen about five instances of praying mantises in person, right? And I got two of them on tape. Ha, I have some evidence, yes. So one instance of the praying mantis is right here. When I was going to Irina's house where my cat Lucy is currently staying, this praying mantis was sitting on the door. I got done working at the Michigan Renaissance Festival and this praying mantis is just chilling there, like he owns the place. And I opened the door to come inside, he just sat on the door and didn't move. So I had to get a little video of him, that's kind of crazy. And then when I went to my new house past Wednesday, I went there my past Wednesday day off so I can put new door locks on and so I can uh, take care of the place and vacuum it. And that was a whole fiasco, not a lot got done, but my mom came out and visited, my girlfriend was there, we ate some food, and overall it was a wonderful day. But look at this, right before my girlfriend showed up, there was this praying mantis sitting in my brand new driveway and he's just chilling, like he owns the place too, and he probably does, you know? He doesn't have to pay taxes on it. I'm the slave, I'm the one who has to pay taxes. He's just there, he gets to enjoy it. But I thought it was really rad that he was there and he's chasing after my camera. My camera phone is moving around. But that was wild though, that was just utterly uh, amazing. And then not to mention the other instances where I saw praying mantises at the Renaissance Festival, and also just in the yard, where at my rental house where I'm currently at right now. Life's crazy though, there's these coincidences that I can't really articulate to other people or express the value or the meaning behind them in a way that other people would fully understand, nor do I really care to express it to other people to have them understand because it's a very personal thing, it's a personal experience. So I guess uh, I, I cared enough obviously to express it here on my channel, but another strange coincidence was uh, when my girlfriend told me that she tested positive with a pregnancy test after she stayed over, um, we talked a little bit about some things, obviously, like you might imagine, and uh, I was pretty excited, actually. Just, just after 15, 20 seconds, I was in shock, and then I, I started smiling and getting excited about the whole thing. There was the anxiety, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, about twins, for some reason. We, we brought up, oh no, twins. And uh, I thought, well, twins could be really cool, right? They can have siblings. They can grow up together. Twins, right? And my girlfriend's like, no, no, I don't want two of them. No, that's, that's too much. It's twice as much. But I'm ready to accept whatever happens as far as the birth of children goes. If it's one child or two, I'm all for it. Bring it on. Bring on anything. I don't, I don't, boy, girl, anything in between, I'm ready for it. I just want to raise a quality human that cares about other people, that is considerate for other people's feelings, is hardworking, hopefully, and just is kind. I just want to raise a kind human being. We need more kindness in this world. But anyways, she was talking about this anxiety of having twins. We were eventually hungry to get to the point. We went to a restaurant, and we went to this hibachi restaurant where they flip around all the stuff on the table and all that, and they, they cook up the fried rice right in front of you. And wouldn't you have it? Not just one person or a couple comes in with two newborn twins, but another couple comes in with newborn twins to the other table. So we have these three tables, and each table has uh, twins at them, newborn twins, except for us. Our table's the only one that doesn't have newborn twins. Or does it? 
We don't know. We don't know yet because we haven't done the ultrasound. The ultrasound's coming up later on this month. I'm super pumped about that. I can't wait to uh, just to see the little sound waves that represent the shape of the baby inside of the womb. Uh, who wouldn't be excited about that, right? I know I am. Anyways, folks, that's it. That's my video about strange coincidences. I tried to talk a little bit about the strangeness of these patterns or uh, synchronicities that pop out in my life every once in a while when there's something happening. Uh, sometimes I feel like they might be guiding me in a direction or warning me of something, but then again, that's just probably the superstitious part of my own brain playing tricks on me. There's some deep psychology there, I don't know. I just like to pay attention to these sorts of things because they're interesting at the very least, and I like to keep a healthy skeptical mind at the same time because I don't believe in absolute beliefs. Maybe I do, maybe I do, I don't know, but at least I can say maybe about it and I can take a step back. I prefer to have that perspective of staying on the fence. I don't want to believe in God or not believe in God. I don't want to pick one or the other. I like to have that option still. I'm like that cat when you open a door. I want the door to stay open. I don't want to go outside or inside. I just like having that option. And then tie that together with praying mantises and twins at birth. Uh, there's, I don't know where I was going with this video, but hey, you watched it. So that, you know, that's on you. I can't refund your time. Sorry about that. But hey, what I can do for you though is teach you free circus and flow art skills. That's right, my friends. Every Sunday, I teach you how to teach yourself new and exciting circus and flow art skills. I can teach you how to contact juggle here on my channel. All you have to do is go to my playlist section here on my channel and click on circus and flow arts tutorials or even just the contact juggling playlist section. And there's a bunch of tutorials where I teach you how to spin crystal balls around your body in different ways, or even how to spin things on the tip of your finger. This is called pediddling. Or I'll teach you even how to juggle balls, like traditional juggling. And if you don't want to juggle balls, you can always juggle clubs instead. And I can teach you how to teach yourself how to do that as well. Or even how to do the devil sticks right there. The devil sticks and I go way back. I was 12 years old when I first picked them up. I started getting good when I was 14. I've been doing them ever since. And if you're uh, willing to do some math, I'm 38, you can figure out how long I've been doing devil sticks for. All right, folks, that's a wrap. I got a lot more stuff to do tonight before I can uh, go to bed, so I'll leave you with these words of wisdom or unsolicited advice, depending on how you want to look at it. Please just remember to never give up and to do your best to stay true to you and who you are and what you stand for and to be amazing. And what I mean by be amazing is to just simply be the best version of exactly who you are. I'll see you in the next video, or rather, you'll see me. Either way, let's hang out again sometime. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.